Howdy out there, everybody. Old Uncle Rob here, just gonna do a quick, quick rambling, sitting out back here doing some TikTok questions and answers. So if you want a question and answer me, go over and find my TikTok and ask me a good question or comment, what have you. At Rob Tacklebox over there. I just seen some funny stuff last night around to the last few days. All this all this protesting and, and stuff going on in the world right now and I just mostly stay away from it because it ain't my whatever just you know stay away from my house with the looting and the rioting and what have you and we're fine but oh dear lord this cancel culture that's going along with it is just going crazy I mean I, I'm whatever the heck you are and whatever the heck you support your thing that's your business everybody do their own stuff i'm all for doing you obviously i do me but this whole new cancel culture if you don't agree with somebody we got to cancel you we got to get rid of you we got to there they, they canceled cops they've canceled live pd which i never watched that one but i know of it but i mean come on cops because oh my god it's triggering people whatever watch don't watch it I haven't watched cops in years. I've seen reruns come on every now and again on the station if I leave it on. I used to watch it all the time as a kid. There's lots of things I don't like to watch, but guess what? Change the channel. You know how if you actually don't want to watch it, if you don't watch it, it will go away because of ratings. But if people want to watch it, why are you taking it away from them? And uh, that's really what gets me is people are so... Whatever triggers them, that's all that's important. Everybody's got to agree with it, but... They don't think maybe somebody else likes it and maybe it's not that bad and it's something like cops or something you can just watch not watch and this whole doing away with police and i'm sorry if you've had bad experience with the police i can assure you i've been profiled by many police but i acted correctly and did not get uh, incarcerated or in jail or anything and i'm sure that's just cause of my privilege or whatever that's it I'm still waiting to activate the privilege. If anybody knows how to activate the privilege, please let me know, because supposedly I got it, but I haven't figured out how to call the number in to activate it, because I've been pulled over walking down and told I was pulled over because I look like I do, and searched without any reason, done all those things, but guess what? I didn't overreact. I let them do it. I'm fine. Uh, and I do believe we need some police officers. They're not all bad people. They're just like anybody else, in my opinion. There's good, there's bad. They're not all good. There's whole places that are not good police departments, I'm sure. But in my opinion, we need to take care of that and find out who's good at their job and who's bad at their job and try to correct that. This whole, we're just gonna disband the police, that's not gonna work out so well for anybody, in my opinion. And you're welcome to your opinion, everybody's welcome to their opinion, that's my opinion. But that's one thing too. But now canceling TV shows, and not just cops and live PD, they've gone and canceled the, the freaking, what's that, uh, oh heck, I can't even think of the name of it now, Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol. I never even watched it, but I know what it is, some little puppet dogs. Uh, that you know some of them firemen some are policemen some of them or whatever rescue little pup little cartoon show we can't we they, they want well they ain't canceled if they want to cancel it i believe paw patrol they're so worried they're, that some kids might see some police officers and and firefighters and what have you in a good light they're mad because these shows show police in a good light and that's what we should be showing there are good ones and this is what they should be if there's not if supposedly everybody's bad maybe they should be like these shows like that i don't think paw patrols out there teaching any violence upon anybody that's just my guess i've not watched paw patrol but i can't i can't imagine that shows so triggering and and now we're just gonna cancel everything police or cops in it what, what's y'all's solution to that one are we going to just rename them something else uh assistance uh they're gonna have in some places won't have therapists and people go out with the police when they're think about this mess now it's all sounds good if you're the one in trouble and you're doing something bad and you don't want no police but if you're the one getting hurt or you're the one needing assistance do you really want to call somebody that's going to send dr phil out instead of somebody that could help you de-escalate the situation. I mean, I'm not that worried about it because Uncle Rob stays strapped. 
and I don't, I'm not a police caller. I'm not one of these people that call the police on everybody. It has to be bad before I ask the law enforcement to get involved. But this just is mess, though. Canceling, canceling Paw Patrol and all these TV shows. Like I said, canceling any TV shows. There's plenty of TV shows I can't stand. I, you know what I do? I don't watch them. I might even give them a chance, but if I don't like it, I change the channel, and guess what? They usually go away. Most TV shows go away. But cops and all them have been on for a long time for a reason. There's nothing wrong with them. There's not discrimination against cops. I've watched cops for years and years. Everybody gets arrested on that show, and it's not a racial thing, trust me. There's more white people on cops getting drug out their meth houses and, and their wife beaters and drinking and doing what have you. So cops is not racist, a racist show for damn sure. No, that's my privilege talking, but dear God, the privilege, I, I'm sorry I take offense to the privilege because I haven't activated it yet. I, mean, I have no problem with it. Give me the privilege. If I got the privilege, I want to find out how to use it in a better way, but uh, that's, I take that as personally offends me, the whole privilege thing in this day and age, for good Lord's sakes. But anyway, that and other things, everything else, everything's got to represent everybody nowadays. Same thing, everybody can have their damn TV shows. If you don't like a TV show because it doesn't represent you or it's not doing this, don't watch it. And it will get, if it's truly that many people that care, it'll get taken off. If there's not that many people that care, that's not who the TV show is for. You just don't have to watch it. And you can have all your TV shows. If I don't approve of what you're doing on your TV show, you know I do, I change that channel. I've never watched one episode of Jersey Shore. I did see that clip of it where Snooky got drunk and wandered off. Never watched it. Had never seen one episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Now I've never seen Duck Dynasty, even though everybody tells me I look like one of them after hard times or something. Get See? I don't have no problem with them shows neither. All of them. I don't care. I don't care. RuPaul's Drag Race. I've never watched it. I have nothing against RuPaul's always been a cool cool cat i know who rupaul is since i was a little kid did the the salt singing and all that he's been around for he she whatever he wants to go by i don't personally know his pr pronoun or whatever he's cool, cool by me i've never watched the show i have nothing against it any kind of show i'm just trying to think of controversial honey boo boo i never watched honey freaking boo boo don't bother me none i didn't watch it i don't watch those shows just not my thing. Like American Idol, I used to watch it for Simon dissing people. It was funny. Uh, don't anymore. Because he's gone. It's a mess. Been on for a million years. I don't watch The Voice. I don't watch any of that stuff. Can they have them? Yes. I don't like any reality shows anymore. I watched Viva La Bam and Ozzy Osbourne show when they first came out. That's about it for reality for me. I got enough reality. I want fantasy shows. And I watch shows that I don't care for everything about them, like Supergirl and, excuse me, those shows have a bunch of agenda propaganda stuff shoved into them, shoved down your throat, but I don't care. I watch them because I like the super part of it. I like the comic book part. So I can enjoy shows that I don't enjoy every little message in. It's called, you can either see, I can tolerate this or I can't, just don't watch it. Your freedom to choice. And you're one not you, not whoever these people are that want to cancel everything, they're just because they don't agree with it and somebody doesn't agree with them, they want to cancel them and take it away from everybody. They're going after the, the Harry Potter author because she doesn't see transgender stuff the same way they do, or from what I heard, and she's a huge supporter of all that. Besides, because she won't word it the way they won't, they want to cancel her. How about you just don't like her stuff, don't read Harry Potter anymore, don't support, don't go see the movies. Try to cancel the woman because she's not like you. That sounds like discrimination to me. It's, to me, it's, don't, forcing somebody to see your views is not acceptance and all this stuff. If you're having to force racism or uh, discrimination or any of this stuff out of somebody because of their views and their preferences, that's not discrimination. That's not the big problem. Real discrimination, real racism and all this, you'll know. You'll co it'll come out to you. So the, all this cancel culture, just because you nitpick something you don't like about somebody, and we can all do it to each other, I'm telling you. We all have flaws, we all have preferences other people don't like, we all see things a little bit differently. Everybody is different. I hate to break it to everybody. We're all different. Different cultures, different races, different different neighborhoods, different we're grown up we got differences. Getting along is what it's about. 
accepting that we all have these differences and appreciating them and and getting along being civil to each other civil rights civil getting along you do not have to agree with everybody's way of life you don't have to you don't have to support everything there's another thing too everybody's do you support me do you support this do you support that that's your choice just because you're not out there marching with people or protesting people don't mean you hate them it does not mean you're against them it just means that's not your cause and that's not something you care that passionately about and that and people need to quit taking it as oh you didn't march with me you didn't riot with me you didn't do this with me it does not mean you don't care about them as a person or that you hate them or any of this stuff it doesn't mean you don't but it doesn't mean you do it doesn't mean you they take everything so seriously if you're not with us you're against this type mentality and this all lead this is all what leads to big bad things communism everybody tells you what to do everybody's the same everybody's the board we're supposed to be celebrating differences and learning to support each other and in ways we can be nice to each other be civil but we do not all have to be the same we do not all have to agree with everything we do not all variety is the spice of life and accepting accepting others are different accepting others see things differently that's what you work on not forcing your opinion on everybody and your opinion is if they don't agree with you they're racist they're they're bigots they're this no they're just not you be yourself that's what i do that's my logic is be yourself be civil to others and just try to get along we're all in this life for the short time we have it the love of God we need to quit canceling everything ruining everything for everybody because no one likes the same not no one likes all the same things and why take things away from some people just because you don't like it and it's not really hurting anybody people are just getting offended by everything because they can it's offensive culture I want to be offended because it offends me if it does offend you you can keep away from it you don't have to take it away from everybody you don't have to interact with those people why would you want to interact with those people and go poke the bees hive to begin with if you find something so offensive and so bad that you should erase it from the world if somebody likes that why would you just that helps you see who you don't want to be around that's what i do if somebody does things i don't really like and don't i don't hate them and i don't go oh I, you know let me go after them and attack them no, i stay away i distance myself social distancing that works with that too if some if people are really really just uh to you don't bother them don't just be civil hey how you doing don't go poking at them we all can have our own things we don't all have to be best friends and hug each other and all that the world doesn't work like that, never will. It won't be humans if they do that. Maybe some aliens will come and be like that. These are just my opinions. I don't mean to offend anybody or get up anybody's butt. If I do, don't watch me. Uh, cancel me as they do. I'm fine with it. Uh, but it just had to be. It just had to be said by me on here. And it's just, it's just sad. This world that we can't. We, we're going the opposite. We're trying to get along, and everybody get along. And now everybody's trying to be the top dog, or be the privileged, or be the this and that, and destroy each other's histories and cause more hate. Because that's all this is doing is causing more hate. And everybody needs to get past the past. But without destroying it because when you destroy history you're doomed to repeat it and that's true and they're destroying history so they can relive it and uh, it's just sad all all for all for narratives that they that a lot of people can't see as people brainwashing them to to think what's there it's illusion look at the facts for yourself don't just cause the tv tells you or the internet tells you or i tell you Look at things yourself. Try to figure that out, you know. Try to freaking open your eyes and your brain and ears and you think about it. What do you think? And go with what you think, whether it's what I say or anybody else says. Go with your interpretation of reality because it's only your reality that matters. We all have our own, how we perceive things. Quit just going with the narrative. Quit being a sheep. Quit just following because you heard. This is what's good. This is what's bad. 
it's all relative to you so thank my message to everybody is think for yourself thank some how do you feel about it go with that this has been a rob tackle box deep rant follow me everywhere at rob tackle box or cancel me all together i don't care really i appreciate the follows and the socializing but if you don't like it i'm good with you gone you're good with me gone it don't matter but those y'all that stay and enjoy thank you have some have some sweet tea oh lordy have a good one be careful out there and be safe no matter what y'all doing